Okay, no encoding overload that time, and I had the capture card turned off, so that's worth that's worth noting. Speaking of noting, I also have to write down my volume offset real quick before I forget. Now what does that, what does that there say? What does that say? It says negative 13, negative 13 decibels. Oh my God. Have you ever heard of a decibel so low? Let me get in there. Let me get in there. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing everybody? Jazio and or qualified intelligent systems. I don't think they so intelligent. Hey, Greeny. Okay, so last time the game started for real. Hello, Dread Troid, and uh, yes, it is. I mean, I could have an adapter, but I got- I got the controller. It's purple. Purple! Oh, right, right, right. The quiz man. Hello, Kovar. Car Wiz! Chuck Quizmo's the name, and quizzes are my game. You go on quizzes, I got them. Hello, Zeal. Wow, this is a good turnout. Like, right off the bat. I gotta say. If you can manage to answer my brain-busting questions correctly, then... Yep, yep. Yahoo! I'll give you a star piece. Wanna try a quiz? Yes, I do. And let's go to the question. Question. What is the name of Gumbario's younger sister? Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star- Oh, that's it. I thought there was going to be more than one question, but no. So long, farewell, till we meet again. Can't wait for this to receive a PC port eventually. Oh yeah, in between uh, the last stream and, and this one. Wait, what does this do? 3 FP and 3 FP, so... Nah, I'm good. Yeah, in between the last stream and this one. Uh, the Paper Mario decompilation was 100% completed, or at least 100% decompiled. Also, I wasn't entirely sure, I couldn't figure out if you could actually do this one. 
Uh, there's one thing I saw that said maybe you could. But nonetheless, from what I understand, the reward is indeed inconsequential, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, so we got this guy. And we can go on an adventure. Okay, let's... We gotta go to the Cooper Brothers Fortress. Notably, only the US version is 100%. And they still aren't fully done on asset extraction, so a PC porn can't... P p PC porn? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh! More funny sound effects for me. What does this one sound like? But yeah, nonetheless, it is very exciting to hear about the progress on the Paper Mario decomp. I'm positive it will continue. And I am excited to see it. Hopefully, as well, it means some cool mods will start popping up. I mean, not to say... Not to say that none have before, but... Hopefully the frequency is increased. So I believe this is the first time I've had Cooper in a battle. Dang it! I'm always messing that up. So you can go through all of them. No, wait, no, no, I think I've had a battle with him before, never mind, because I remember doing that. Uh, probably against the fu the Fuzzy. Yeah, like I said, you have to press that way earlier than I feel comfortable. Now, it should be said I am playing this through an OSSC, and, you know, naturally the delay is not going to be as low as it would be on a CRT. There's probably going to be, like, a little bit of input lag. But it realistically should only be, like, a couple milliseconds. So I don't think it would... <laughs> I don't think it would make that weird. No, it's not just you. <laughs> okay. Yes, give me the star points. Juice me up, baby. Juice me up! Oh, oh wait, I know how to get that. I know how to get that. You know what, you know what? We can go ahead and... We can do this. Wait. Oh, crap. I remember now. Because you gotta press the left C button. Do those bushes have scan lines? Yeah, there's some kind of, like, dithering effect going on there. I'm not sure what it is. Crap, I fell down. I did not mean to fall down. Because I need to get the item. The Thunderbolt! And along came Zeus. No entry allowed, Mario. Yours truly, the Koopa Bros. Well, too bad. I have a man that I can throw at things. D crap! Oh, wait. Hopefully this is a free move. It is not. It is not a free move. There's a paratroopa. No surprises here. Paratroopas are Koopa Troopas with wings. When you jump on them or use a POW block, their rings... Their rings... I cannot speak. They become normal Koopa Troopas. It's easy to beat them once they're normal Koopa Troopas. Give them another jump attack. They think they're pretty cool because they wear sunglasses. But you're not that tough. Okay, too, too early. There we go, okay. So I got the hammer throw, but I mean, why would I do that? It costs FP. <clears throat> mm. 
You are powerless to stop me. It's kind of weird going back to this game and realizing you can't super guard. <laughs> yeah, I know there's there's some things that Thousand Year Door added. But I mean, honestly, it's been a long time since I've played either of them, so it doesn't mess me up quite as much as you would think. Which is why, which is why I was ready to come back and re-experience this game once more. Oh, we are... We are tantalize checking my checking my glasses for smudge. Uh, we are tantalizingly close to a level up. No, give me that. Give me that. Uh, there might be. Hang on, let me let me de smudge. Let me remove a little bit of the smudge. God, why do they got to make these controllers weird shapes that won't <laughs> stay on top of things? But here, look at my stats. Look at them! Look at them! Okay. Okay. Can I hit this? I can, and there's a star piece inside. Ho oh ho! See, that guy thought he had me. Yeah, I mean, at least they put, like, a little guide on the side to tell you when to push the button. There is that. Oh, I am... I am low on juice right now. Waste the time while I wait for Switch data to transfer between console. Oh, you get a new Switch or something? Okay, time to kill. Also, hello, Zero Kirby. Like I said, I am honestly kind of amazed at how good the turnout is so early on. You know, with me, it's usually a bit of an uphill battle, but I guess the stars have aligned. Ended up breaking the old one trying to do a shell replacement. Ugh. I don't like the... I hate to hear it for you, my man. Hello, Miles. Oh, get down there. Get down there. Power shell. I think that's worth it. Yes. Yeah, okay, I'm- I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I mean, I could use a healing item, but part of me's kind of just hoping that I'll come across a heal block- Oh, level up, never mind. Which gives you a full heal. And like I said, I kind of want the badge point upgrade this time. So let's see, what kind of new badges can I put on? That would be good. That might be good, too. See, this is where the strategy in this game comes in, because you gotta, you gotta figure out what the best badge is. I'll probably do this, and, uh... I'll do this. Wait, 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 what was that? I'll do this, yeah. Okay. Hmm, a pipe behind a cracked wall. Oh, there it is. The fortress. I can see my cartridge lighting up in the corner of my eye. Whoa, Mario, what the... 
Uh, we're in a world of hurt. Mario's here already. I gotta tell the leader. Red Koopa. Anything over here? Not really. Okay, let's go inside. First proper dungeon. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, new mimini. New mimini. Okay, so Mario, go ahead and kill this dude while Goombario tells us all about bombs. This is a ba bomb. Ba bombs are pretty temperamental, and they get steaming mad when you attack them. Oh no, that's just Aurora Borealis. You better not jump on them when they're angry or they'll blow up in your face. In fact, stay away entirely. Attack them from a distance with items like hammers, or you could send in other things like shells. If they attack when angry, they'll charge in and explode, so you better take care of them before they blow. So yeah, it'd probably be wise to send in Cooper to deal with this. I mean, I could do the hammer throw. You know what, let's, let's do the hammer throw. So you can see what that looks like. Oh no, I should have waited till Cooper had a turn. Crap. Well, lesson learned. Mario learned a painful lesson that day. The key. Not particularly ancient, but it'll do. Is it normal to flex my fingers in time with the action commands? <laughs> because I'm doing that reflexively. Ah oh, yes, we call that... Paper Lobs Bell. Ah, oh, crap. Crap. So yeah, gotta come up with the best order to attack. The strategy finally begins. We're finally playing an RPG of some sort. No! No! Can't wait for this game to get a PC port. Yeah, more than one person has said that, and I... I understand why. Because it would be very cool. I mean, I don't want to take it for granted, but I think there's a pretty good chance that it'll happen. Because, you know, Mario 64, is Ocarina of Time. We, uh, we already got those two. They both got one. Um, wasn't there another one? Another game that got, got decompiled, got a PC port? I mean, I know that there was like a... Somebody did something with Jack and Daxter, if I recall right. I don't know if that was a decomp, though. Hey, listen. I'm gonna put this key in a cage. Okay, I got it. Ha, oh, let's see the great Mario get any farther now. Yeek, Mario! You, uh, don't try any... You'll never find your way through this fortress. Um, looks like there might be some fighting here. How exciting. See ya. Oh, what happened with the music?
Oh yeah, Link to the Past. Uh, got one as well, though that one's a little bit more obscure. Oh yeah, a bunch of Sonic games, of course. <laughs> I don't- I don't know how I forgot about that. Because they're still probably the best way to play Sonic 1 and 2, in my opinion. Oh. Super Metroid's still pretty buggy. Well, I- I look forward to seeing work completed on it. You know, hopefully they get some of that ironed out. Because that's a pretty cool thing they got going on there. Oh boy, I'm not doing well. But that's okay. Nobody's perfect. po buddy's nerfic. That's what my dad always said. Either way, it's it's definitely really cool what people are doing with these old games, whether Nintendo likes it or not. I mean, heck, it's not like Nintendo's doing anything comparable. Oh, so he can he can walk through this wall, but I can't. Zelda 2, but I don't think it counts. It's more re-implementation and Game Maker and changes a bunch of stuff. Yeah, not quite the same thing, but still a very cool project. Somebody else also did that with Link, the Faces of Evil, and Zelda Wand of Gamelon, which is pretty cool. I've, I've streamed both of those. And I mean, you know, a lot of people will be like, like, oh, th those games suck wiener. And I'll be like, uh, I don't care. <laughs> they, it's still cool. Because, you know, it's just this... It's this big thing, like this big Zelda thing, that people always reference, but few people have actually played. And I like that there's now a more easily accessible way to play them. Oh. Uh. That's a lot of dudes. I only wish that somebody could make one for Hotel Mario. Because, honestly, yeah, I don't think the CDI's Zelda and Mario games are as bad as people make them out to be. I mean, they're not great, but they're not like the worst thing ever, you know? In my opinion, Hotel Mario is, in fact, a perfectly serviceable, like, arcade-style Mario game. Like, if you go in and you think, like, okay, this is gonna be something like Wrecking Crew, okay? You know, don't- don't expect Super Mario Brothers, expect Wrecking Crew. And honestly, it's- it's not the worst game ever, it's kind of fun, honestly. But, the thing is, it's just- it's hard for anybody to play that, because... You know, CDI. It isn't easy to get your hands on a CDI. And the game. Zelda's Adventure is pretty bad, though. I, I haven't played that one, but it did look like a lot more boring. Like, it's just way less interesting. So, did you guys know that... Originally, like, Donkey Kong was part of the CDI Philips deal? Like, they- they were going to make a Donkey Kong game. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what that might have looked and sounded like? I mean, the closest thing I can imagine... ...is, you know, the, uh, the cartoon. I want a CDI port of Super Donkey- Oh, wait, that is- it's a- that's weird. A door isn't supposed to do that. Also, honestly, this may be the very first time where the chat is moving fast enough to where I'm having, like, a teensy bit of trouble keeping up with it. 
I mean, I say that right as it dies completely, but... Like everybody talking about the CDI stuff. It's a good problem to have, though. Imagine if we'd gotten another game like DK94 on the CDI. <laughs> That'd be interesting, I'll say that. Oh! Well, this is not going well so far. You can... You can kind of see me, like, shake my arms a little bit when... <laughs> when I'm pressing the action command. Do, do I need to do that? No, but... You know, it's like... It's like pressing the A button when you're catching a Pokemon. It, it feels more effective. You see, that's what happens when I- that's what happens when I don't do it. Yes, I know Mario's low on health. Oh, great, that did nothing! Good day, sir! Oh, ow. You know, the damage numbers are very low in these games. Like, that's the- that's the thing about Mario RPG. Why am I doing this? Oh, it actually did damage. Animation magic worked on a canceled Warcraft game. Th that's interesting. I, I feel like I remember hearing about that. That, do that does sound familiar. Also, if anybody doesn't know, they also made I Am Mean, which I think most people familiar with YouTube poops would know. And uh, they also made some kind of game where this, like, blonde kid and his... Not Link and his aunt go, like, exploring in Egypt, and you get to see, like, CDI Anubis. No, it wasn't Anubis, it was, I don't know, it's some kind of Egyptian god. I, I'm not really well-versed on that subject, but it's one of them. Is this original hardware or emulation? It is original hardware. Oh, but actually the guy, the kid is voiced by the same voice actor as Link. So, if you needed more lines to, like, sentence mix... Oh, prism. If you needed more Link lines to sentence mix in your YouTube poops, you know where to look. Okay. Fortress key. For some reason, even Nintendo's official emulation options still have some broken effects in this game. Yeah. I mean, I will say, credit where it's due, Nintendo has been improving the Nintendo Switch Online emulator. Usually, like, when they drop new games. So, I do appreciate that. We need a CDI Zelda collection on Switch. Listen, Nintendo will never, ever talk about these games again. Well, okay, maybe never is extreme, but... It's very unlikely that they will bring them up. And, uh... The thing is, though, I would buy... If they made- if they re-released the CDI games on Switch, I would buy them. <laughs> okay, this is perfect. I think. Whoa, looks like Mario's here. Oh, that's not sussy at all. Just you wait for Tears of the Kingdom. Listen, if they put more shoe, if they were willing to put more shoe in Tears of the Kingdom, I would buy two copies. I would do it.
<laughs> Unlockable Sheikah Slate games. <laughs> hey, Link, do you got games on your slate? What's this way? Is that, is that gonna be like a, a compilation that somebody makes of this playthrough is Dustin gets jump scared by enemies on the overworld? For some reason, the Zelda Game & Watch wasn't on the Zelda Game & Watch. Yeah, that was kind of weird, wasn't it? But I mean, the Mario one didn't include Super Mario Brothers either. Even though that would have made, like, so much sense. But I guess it, it's just not as marketable as Ball. <laughs> you want Mario's balls? Well, here you go. Bowser is thrusting his hot balls in your direction. Okay, there's there's a key. I like the game. I mean, I like them too. I got both. Oh god, my nose is killing me right now. It's like, ugh. Got itchy. Oh no, it's a trap. Loser, serves you right, you fell for it. The oldest trick in the book, the old fake, the old fake block trick, dude. Oh, what was that? Where did that fall from? Oh, I wondered what just fell, but aren't you Mario? I never in a million years thought I'd meet such a famous guy in a place like this. Who, me? My name's Bombette. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm a Babom. Pleased to meet you. God, it's it's so cute. They just they just make it pink, and the fuse is a ponytail. Do, 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 do. I'm sorry. I simply will not obey tyrants anymore. Those Cooper brothers can't squash the pride of blah 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 blah. Dum. So I'm using all my energy thinking of a way to break out of here. Hmm, the angles, vectors. Ooh, it's so complicated. My head's gonna explode. All of us bob got locked in here by the Koopa Bros. Nothing we could do about it. The Koopa Bros used to be cool, but then they got conceited because Cammy Koopa likes them. Before, they were just typical young guys from Koopa Village. They were nice enough. I think maybe the desire for adventure corrupted them. Those stinking Koopa Bros worked us way too hard. They were making us work for 25 hours a day. Unreal. <laughs> Nobody's life should be all work, right? Paper Mario. Paper Mario getting a little political up in here. I need free time to make my mark in the world. Boom. Oh, how long do we have to be locked up here? I'm losing hope. And I'm so hungry and sad and mad, angry. I'm filling with rage. I'm really angry now. I want out, out, right now. You hear me, Koopas? What's that? Why am I locked up here? Because I'm a menace. At least to these guys. Those uncouth Cooper bros. She is a menace to society. Oh yeah, and her, uh, her crank, her whatever it is, is a heart. It's so cute. I was just one of many Babams working here. But those Koopa Bros, once Bowser took over, they started working us to the ground. I couldn't take it anymore, so I exploded next to them. Yeah, that was a mistake. The Koopa Bros didn't like it, so they locked me in here. I mean, I, I get that. Bom Bombette is literally Spider-Man. I want pictures of Bombette! 
And then they locked up the rest of the bob bombs because they thought they might rise up. You know, a bob bomb rebellion. What do you think about that? Oh, sorry. It's a long story, I know. Anyway, Mario, we want to get out of here. Do you think you could help spring us from this place or what? Pretty please? If you help us, I promise I'll return the favor. Yeah! Oh, how nice. We'll be good friends from now on. I could feel it. We'll make a super team, Mario. Your head explode. Body slam. She gets on the top ropes. Let's think of a way to get out of here. Oh gee, I almost forgot. I haven't even told you about what I can do. Silly me. My specialty is exploding. Check this out. Gary! You are gonna finish your dessert! <laughs> See, if there are any cracks in a wall, I can probably break it. You could have done that, like, hours ago. Let me try this one. Puff, 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 take cover! Oh. I gotta make her do it. Like, I, I didn't even... I, I, I had no influence in that whatsoever. See that? You see what I bring to the party, Mario? Oh, an escape route! Well, I, I guess I never thought about doing that before. <laughs> oh, okay. She's just a little, like... I was so mad, I just blew up over and over in one place. Teehee. Okay, that was a little silly. Well, anyway, we can get out now, right? And so can everyone else. Thank you, Mario. From now on, I'll tag along and help out wherever I can. You just ask and I'll be there for you. Now, enough chit-chat. I have a little score to settle with those Koopa bros. Oh, whoa, spin! Spin! Was it? Was it over here? No, it was like down the other way. Okay, you guys can just leave whenever you feel like. Oh! Oh no! What's all this noise? In case you bob forgot, exploding is prohibited inside the fortress except in case of emergencies. Oh, this is an emergency. What in the- Mario, what are you doing here? Nothing good, I bet. Everyone, get him! Okie dokie. Let us explode this man. They're, the battles are set up like shoebox dioramas. Yeah, that's great. Okay, for now, don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. <laughs> Bombs, you want it? to do that. <laughs> Thought there was supposed to be an audience and curtains. Got my Paper Mario games mixed up. Yeah, not in this one, my friend. Not in this one. So this is the basement. Go up here. Okay, go down here. And there's a crack. And there's a treasure! Oh, the refund badge. Refund some coins if you use an item in battle. Nice. Nice. Also, this is some good looking water for a Nintendo 64 game. I should post about that on some kind of Nintendo themed social media. Oh wait, before- before I leave this place... Oh wait, I need to go down there and save. I need to save! I don't actually need to save. But I want to. And therefore I will. It's 
saves very quickly, so do not worry. Not like my Wii. <laughs> Oh, okay, so there's some stuff here. Good, good. I think I had to go back here, actually. Sunshine still has the best looking water. Well, I mean, it's a game all about it. Oh, the power bounce. Jump on one enemy continuously until you miss an action command, which knowing me would be exactly two bounces. <laughs> You know what, get rid of that. And, uh, do this. Power bounce. Sounds pretty good. Oh wait, I can't get up there though. I will have to find another way. I mean, it should probably be said that my memory of this game is likely to get worse the further in it I get. I mean, that's just how I am with most video games, to be honest with you. Okay. Key. Your own experience with this game is rather limited. Oh, uh, that's funny, because I I was under the impression you had played a lot of it. Mm. Only oh, only able to rent it back in the day. Despite liking Thousand Year Door more than this game, I've actually played this one more times. Yeah, probably me too, actually. And yeah, I, I will agree. Even as somebody who thinks that Thousand Year Door is the apex of the series, it's a bit less consistent quality-wise than this game. I guess I would say that when Paper Mar- when Thousand Year Door is really good, it's re when it's good, it's really good. But when it's bad, it's worse. That is my stance. But I, I would have to play it again. And one of these days I will. I bought a used GameCube just so I could play Thousand Year Door again. <laughs> That's basically true of every Nintendo game, ga every Nintendo GameCube game that they made. You know, honestly, I can't disagree with you. Hello, integer. When they get bad, Paper Mario in general, when it gets bad, it gets really bad. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely agree with that much about the GameCube library for the most part. Like, like, okay, I am a <laughs> fervent Sunshine defender. Like, I, I love Mario Sunshine. But I will definitely agree that, like, Mario 64 is a bit more solid on the whole. And I mean, I, I love Mario 60... I love Mario 64 most of the time. <laughs> yeah, Sunshine is the best game ever, but it also sucks. It's the duality of Mario Sunshine. And Wind Waker as well. Like, Wind Waker has a lot of, like, really good stuff in it. But it also has, like, some really obnoxious stuff for a Zelda game. And you, you can definitely tell that both of those games were rushed. They, they were made on a tight timeline. How about Melee? Um... I mean, I, I can't think of anything that's particularly obnoxious about Melee. You know, like, <laughs> people who play it notwithstanding.
Um, now it's funny, Metroid Prime 2 was, r like I've said, like I said when I was playing it, streaming it, it was rushed to shit. But you really cannot tell, in my opinion, besides the fact that they reuse a lot of enemies. Like, you cannot tell that that game was rushed. They really made it work. The only thing I don't like about Melee is that you have to survive Cruel Melee 10 minutes to unlock Sonic. Yeah, I mean, some of the unlocks are a bit much, I guess. Like, if I recall right, you have to, like, play 24 hours of the game in order to unlock Mewtwo or something. What I usually just do is leave the game on. I just leave it on for a long time and, it, you know, it does the same thing. But it's still weird. But yeah, honestly, I think that's something I like a lot about ga the GameCube's library, honestly. Is that it's just... You, you never quite know what you're gonna get out of it, you know? Like there's, a lo like, there's a lot of games that came before and after that are, you know, more even. More even experiences. But with the GameCube, it's just like anything can happen. Anything. I mean, say what, like, listen, I give Mario Sunshine crap all the time for its pachinko section, but let me be real, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's really funny. Like, I, I can't even be that mad because it makes like a, it makes for great content. Because you either beat it, you, it feels like you either beat it first try, or it takes you eight hours. The Chuck, the Chuckster level is funny. Yeah, that too. It's like it's stupid, but it is so funny. It's all about the memories, exactly. Like you know me, you know me. Like my taste tends to be, I would rather like have. A rough game that is extremely interesting, then a solid game that is very boring. And I mean, I, you know, going into this like minefield of a territory, but that's why I didn't like Paper Mario Sticker Star very much. I mean, granted, there's a few more design flaws that I knew about. Ooh, hammer charge. But yeah. The, the worst thing about Sticker Star, in my opinion, was just it was boring to me, you know? Like, it wasn't, it wasn't buggy or glitchy, it wasn't like, you know, Sonic 06 where Mario was clipping through the floor all the time. You know, but it just, it just wasn't fun. You know, I wasn't enjoying myself playing it. Are you implying Sticker Star is solid though? Like I said, there's more design flaws than I realized at first. You know, I've been, like, w I watched Chugga Conroy's videos on it, and he, he does not like that game very much either. But it's just, I don't know. I, I wasn't able to get to most of the worst stuff, though, because it just, like I said, I just wasn't having fun. And, you know, as Mr. Reginald Fisame once said, if it's not fun, why bother? And I didn't bother. <laughs> Though it also means that I didn't see one of the highlights of the game, but... You know... You gotta... <laughs> well, 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 Mario! I wouldn't have bet you'd make it this far! <sniffs> Don't get smug, pal! You just caught us off guard! Trust me, we'll mop the floor with you if we get serious! We're as cool as they come! Yeah, boys, open fire. I find Color Splash more offensive because it could have learned from those mistakes and almost aggressively tried not to. Yeah, that's 
That was my read on Color Splash as well, and that's why I just didn't bother playing it. I didn't even, I didn't even give it a chance. I just, I saw what they were putting down, and I was like, nah, nah. And honestly, like, okay, I have a lot of problems with modern Paper Mario, like, all across the board. Like, I, I will concede that Origami King is a lot better, you know? It's a lot better than Sticker Star. I disagree that it's good enough, but it's better. You know, I will admit that. Anyway, uh, here's the battalion. I'm getting shot upon. Shat upon. The maples are- ooh, 10 FP. Hmm. Is there anything I can use right now? And I mean, I'll confess. I'll confess, right? I will be totally forthcoming. I dislike Origami King more because I like the first two so much. Well, the first three. But especially the first two. You know, and I, I'm not too proud to admit that, you know? I, I treat Origami King harsher because of what it replaced. Like, even even the stuff it does well, I, I just... It just makes me sad, you know? Has the three games they like and the three they hate. Yeah, that might be accurate. Honestly, I think Super is good, but it's not, uh... Like... Okay, so gameplay-wise, it's Super is a little confused, you know? Like, it's trying to be a platformer, and it's trying to be an RPG, and it can't decide which it would rather be. It has a bit of an identity crisis. Now, granted... Oh, wait, I, I need to get Goombario out here. <laughs> don't, don't fuck with Paper Mario fans. We hate the majority of games in the franchise. <laughs> okay, Bullet Bill. This is a Bullet Bill, a kamikaze attacker. If you don't beat Bullet Bills quickly, they'll slam into you and explode. I'm serious, Mario. These guys will really make us pay if they manage to hit us. We have to beat them off. Uh, oh, no, we don't need to do that. We need to beat them before they get the chance to strike us. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm beaching that guy off. <laughs> I'm never gonna live that one down. But, yeah, uh... After Super, though, it kind of has an identity crisis in the opposite direction. Ow. Ow. It kind of has an identity crisis in the opposite direction, where it kind of has the overworld and turn-based battles of an RPG. But it just, it doesn't want to commit, you know? That's the thing. Modern Paper Mario does not want to commit to being an RPG. Whereas... Whereas, su okay, that's how I'd say it, honestly. Super did not want to commit to not being an RPG, right? It, was, it wasn't an RPG, but it insisted, like, parading around like it was, you know? It wanted to still have experience points and still have, you know, a story, su the fetch quests, all that stuff, even though it fundamentally wasn't an RPG. And then, you know... New Paper Mario has turn-based battles, you know, the same sort of overworld, but it doesn't want to have partners, it doesn't want to have... It does not want to have, you know, experience points. It, it, it's kind of funny, because it's basically Super Paper Mario inverted, right? Inverted Selection Super. Yeah, this, this... <laughs> this stream is very, very, very Freudian. Okay. 
So I need to get rid of these <laughs> need to get rid of these bullet bills. But honestly, if I if I keep streaming long enough, I I do plan on tackling all of the Paper Mario games, even even the ones I don't much care for. Because, you know, it's content. And at least we get at least we get a good dialogue out of it, you know what I mean? But I also have Mario and Luigi to play, which means it it might take a while. It might it might take us a while to get there. I keep thinking this attack's gonna have like splash damage. Oh crap, I'm out of foop. I'm out of the foop. Will this will this do damage to him? Yes it will. Okay, I will take care of this guy. I have no idea what direction they're gonna go in for the next entry in the series. Uh, mm, I don't know. Because I remember an interview where they said they're not... I, I don't know why I did this, I'm stupid. Um, because I, I, I'm focused on talking, I guess. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not playing the game at an optimal level. But yeah, they said in an interview, I think Koizumi said... Or maybe it was... Yeah, I think it was Koizumi. Who is... Who's the guy? Who's the guy? Tanabe, that's right. Ko Koizumi is like the main Mario guy. Like, he's the... He's the guy making the platformers. Also, another level up. That's pretty cool. I think... I think I'm gonna double up on badges. Or, or should I? <laughs> yeah, I think I will, but next time I'll go for help. What do we got? But yeah, I think they, he said in an interview that they were not interested in, like, iterating. They were not interested in iterating on the Origami King style, so... Like, unfortunately, I think everybody's out of luck there. I think he said he's unsure if the series will ever return to its RPG route. Yeah, I mean, I, got, I had a feeling. And, I mean, to be honest, in, unless they do, I'm not entirely sure I'm ever gonna be super interested. Maybe, maybe that's just spite. I don't know. Crap. I have one point. I have one point I cannot use. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna do this. Have my cake and eat it, too. <laughs> but yeah, now that Alpha Dream is dead and it doesn't seem like the Mario and Luigi series is coming back... ...without them. I mean, it, it, we're, we kind of have a void. We have a Mario RPG-shaped void at this point. And it makes me sad. Because these were my favorite RPGs. You guys ready? Hey, Black, what are you doing? Hurry, man, shake a leg! Ow, my shell, get off! Wait, wait a minute. Whoa! Oh, for the love of... What are you doing, Yellow? That doesn't look cool at all! Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm ready, Red. Finally, let's do this. Remember to look cool, guys. Yaw! Oh my god, it's Bowser! Go ha ha ha! I've been waiting for you, Mario! Bo ha ha ha! The strongest and the coolest. Behold the glory that is the great evil King Bowser. It's time for me to beat these foolish ideas out of you. Off of you. It's time for me to beat you off. Saving Peach, please. Watch this and weep. Oh god. 
We 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 are in a spot. Bowser? Bowser? But he looks kind of lame. I mean, he's lame anyway, but... Does Bowser really look like this? I always imagined him looking, well, a lot scarier. Okay, let's- let's power bomb- let's power bounce. Oh. <laughs> well, I screwed that up. Gah ha ha ha! I am invincible! You are powerless before me! You know what, I'll just- I'll do this. Yeah, there we go. You know what, change to Bombette. <laughs> What's the matter with you? This isn't even funny. You can't even touch me? It's- it's hard- it's harder to time that when you have, like, the really tall enemy. Oh no! That costume was perfect! Bowser loved it! My roast is ruined! And there's like a painting of Peach inside that you can see for like just a second. Here come the Koopa Bros! <laughs> oh yeah, this is- this is a good song. Okay Mario, have a taste of this. The Cooper Bros Special Super Spinning Attack! Ow. It's like a surf rock remix of uh, the Hammer Bro theme. Okay, bring Goombario out. Whoa! We're going over! Oh, that's a lot of damage. But his finger is very shiny. The Koopa Bros have formed a, cult, a tall Koopa Tower. I'm not sure about this. They do a spinning attack with the whole gang piled high atop one another. Hit him with a hammer or something to make him unstable. After that, any attack should knock him down. If you use an explosion, you can make him fall down at once. If you flip him over, the battle will nearly be ours. Beat him one by one. What, off? Okay, I think- I think I have to like... <laughs> yeah, this is not- Oh god, and and all because of my pursuit of knowledge. Just I, I just want I wanna know things, but no. There we go. These guys are way cooler than the Axum Rangers. It's funny that it happened twice. You got the Power Rangers, and now you got... Tominti. <laughs> I probably need to use uh, an item of some kind. Like, do I really not have any heals? <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, I'm gonna be strategic about this. Okay, so what you wanna do... Oh, uh-oh. Oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> Oh. Yep, I'm boned. I am so screwed. I have nothing. I have nothing.
I am dead. Uh, hmm. I wonder if that would work. Yellow reminds me of curry. Isn't that a weird thing to think of in the middle of battle? It's a little... yeah, yeah. I can maybe make this work. I might be able to do this. Pray for clutch. Black is pretty fashionable. I mean, he can't become a tower if he's the only one left, right? Yeah, I think we got this. Yeah, he's pretty much just a normal Koopa. Yeah, we got it. We're fine. Dudes, we have been like hoist by our own petard. Oh, the orb. That's a pretty cool effect for the N64, to be honest with you. Put him in a trading card. That is also a nice effect. I will say, the first three Paper Mario games at least, I don't know... I don't know about the later ones, I honestly forgot. But they really make... They really make ending a chapter feel like this huge accomplishment. They're like, YOU THE MAN! <laughs> and so, Mario and friends beat the Koopa Bros at their fortress and rescue the first star spirit. Still, six star spirits remain imprisoned, and they must save them as quickly as they can. The future of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, and of course, Princess Peach, lies in the hands of Mario and his new friends. Their adventure has just begun. Kirby 64 does look pretty good. They do that well in the modern game. Yeah, I just, I just don't remember. Like, that's not a dig. That's not a dig. I just legitimately do not recall. I mean, Super especially makes it sound like you have, you have become God. <laughs> I wonder what Mario is doing right now. I wonder if he's hurt. I'm so worried about it. I mean, I wouldn't be. You know how many times he's done this? It's like, yeah, this is Tuesday. For, for you, the day you got kidnapped was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. He'll be alright, princess. Why, I bet he's saving some star spirits right now. Yes, you're right, Twink. I must be strong. I need to concentrate on finding a way out of here. 
but there are tons of guards just beyond your door. And it's impossible for you to escape through the window. Oh, wait a minute. I remember the minister telling me that there is a secret passage out of this room. He thinks of everything, that minister. Toadsworth had not been invented yet. See, this is before Toadsworth was invented, but also before Toadsworth was uninvented. Twink, help me look for it. Cool, great idea. So, wait, uh... So you get to play as Peach. So, uh... What was Toadsworth's first appearance again? Was that, uh, Sunshine? Was it... So many dresses, and yet they all look exactly the same. I have a brand. <laughs> They're not the same. The designs are all slightly different and very fashionable. Oh, just gonna powder up a little bit. Just powder. This, this is no time to sleep. Yes, let's keep looking. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know where it is. Oh, a photo of Mario. Don't look at that. Where was this room in Mario 64? You know, that would be a cool hack, honestly, is either porting or recreating this version of the castle. Oh, look, there's something behind this drawing. Oh, the passage. The Pasage. Yes, cool. Now we can get out of this room. But where does it lead? <laughs> Peach is like, I don't want a bed, but I need, I need these 50 paintings. It is extremely important. Hmm, where is this? Where are we? Those lighting effects on Peach, though. Oh yeah, that's right, it has- This game has some, like, cool, like... I don't know the proper term for it, but it's like some dynamic lighting effects on the sprites. It-, it They really did get a lot out of the N64 with this. Hey, look at this! Looks like somebody left a private diary just lying around. Should we read it? <laughs> hmm, should we read it, or should we read it but only a little bit? Oh, you like doing this sort of thing, do you? Okay then, very quietly. Let's see. Day zero out of zero, month star. <laughs> Sunny. Today I went to Starhaven and stole the star rod. Now I'm invincible. Cool. I also captured those seven star spirits, so they won't annoy me anymore. It was a hard day's work, and I'm feeling pretty bushed. Dinner was nice, but a bit bland. I feel like I might know the person who wrote this. Should we read more? Okay, let's continue. Today was great, diary. I used my castle to lift Princess Peach's castle way up into the sky. Then I barged into Peach's castle and beat up Mario. Yeah, unbelievable, I know. So fun. And there's more. After that, I kidnapped Princess Peach. Couldn't be happier, diary. I hope she likes me. Princess Peach, this is Bowser's diary. Ugh, but you said you had a suspicion. What'll we do? Should we read more? Yes. Well, the Koopa Bros got beaten by Mario, diary. He even set free the stupid star spirit I kept there. I'm so mad I can barely write. Oh, Mario. Oh, I'm Mario. I'm so big and strong and good and helpful. I hate him, but I'm not worried. There's no way Mario can save the star spirit being held in dry, dry ruins. To do that, he'd have to solve the mystery of the sands and then find dry, dry ruins in dry, dry desert. How could he even know to go to the desert anyway? So I'm not worried at all. In fact, I'm so calm, I'm gonna go to bed now. Exclamation points. Dry, dry ruins is in the middle of dry, dry desert. <laughs> One of the revered star spirits is being held there. Twink, do you think you can tell Mario and find him- find him- <laughs> Do you think you can find Mario and tell him that? Yes, of course, Princess Peach. I'll find Mario right away. 
Uh oh. Oh no! I can't believe I left my secret diary lying out! It would be so embarrassing if somebody read that thing! What? 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 What's the princess doing here? Ah, oh, you little sneak! You read my diary! God, Bowser's theme in this game is so good. King Bowser, is there a problem? You're the worst guards ever. Take Princess Peach back to her room, immediately. Yes, sir, straight away. Forgive us, sir. No, put me down. <laughs> you know, this wall looks different than it did yesterday. I wonder what's up with that. Mario, I believe you'll save us all. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all you've done. Thank you. Since you have freed me from my prison, the seal on my power is broken, and I will recover it little by little. As long as an ounce of power remains in me, I shall help you. Mario can now use the power in battle. Using a star power requires star energy. Would you like to listen while I tell you how to use star powers and star energy? Actually, yes, because I don't remember how you get star energy back. Allow me to explain. Okay, so... Yeah, so we, we got a new gauge now. Also, the, the heads-up display looks like a folder. You can see how much star energy you have. Yes. Yes. Hmm, yeah, so now I, I got a heal. I can use that. Oh, right, you use focus. That's right. The refreshing taste! <laughs> Focusing! Oh yeah, it, it just repl it replenishes gradually, but you can use focus to get it back faster. Mario prays to Jesus. It's not a very, it's not a very big increase, even, even then. Oh, you can replenish it by taking a nap. Mario, listen carefully. You must save the other star spirits quickly. If the seven of us come together, we'll be able to bestow upon you a star power called the Star Beam. The star beam is the only thing that can counteract the star rod that Bowser wields. I have to go back now, back to Star Haven. I must leave immediately, but I'll always be watching you. Save us all, Mario. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Thousand Year Door gives you, like, a lot more opportunities to replenish it. You know, you, you do it, you can do it by doing it like this, you can do like flashy moves and whatnot, the crowd, all that, all that good stuff. Many thing. Many thing. Specials had you play a fun mini game. Also true. What's down here? Where, where am I? Where is this? What is this? 
Oh. Nice, nice. I mean, you can kind of just use badges for everything if you want. The game, the game gives you options. I'm just gonna head on back. Oh! I got Kaizo'd! That does a lot of damage. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Mario Luigi's always gonna make me a little sad. You, you never really know what you have till it's gone. Good, good. Replenish that fire flower I used against the Koopa Bros. Probably want to get out Cooper. No offense, Bombette. I ought to play those. I've not beaten any Mario and Luigi games yet. I recommend them. I definitely think... I, I can recommend the first three without much hesitation. Like, after that, it's maybe a little bit shaky whether or not you'd like them. But the first three are an easy recommendation. The first three, not this again. I mean, listen, listen. I actually really like G Dream Team, right? But it has a lot of things in it that p drive people insane. So it it's it's a harder sell. Also, yeah, Superstar Saga is probably my favorite, too. I think if you made a hack that removed a lot of the superfluous tutorials, then, uh, you know, it, there wouldn't be much to complain about, in my opinion. I played part of Partners in Time and was annoyed how railroady it was. Oh. Oh. Hey guys. Okay. Oh, this is the the inn. I want to go in the item shop. Do they sell mushroom? Voltshroom. Oh yeah, that's right. You can uh, put items in storage. Yeah, like Earth, or Earth Boland. You know what else I missed from the first two Paper Mario games? Super Mario World Fire Flowers. Okay, this is entirely a preference thing, but I do kind of dislike that the new games stopped using the Yoshi's Island designs that I was talking about in the first part. I don't know, I just like those a little bit better. For most enemies, it's not like a huge deal. But I do think booze look a little weird with the new design. Like, I don't know, me, me, Paper Mario always looked like a little bit wackier than normal Mario. And it, it just feels kind of weird to have everything look like uniform now. I decided to stay here with my friends for a while. It's a nice place. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, that's nice. Oh, 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 no, no, I'm going to die. Thousand Year Door basically perfected the character designs for the paper craft look. I mean, I agree. You know I agree. I, 
I mean, I could go on for like ages about how charming I think Thousand Year Door is. And how, frankly, it, it shaped my perception of this series. Oh, welcome, young fella. I'm the elder of Cooper Village. Folks call me Cooper Coot. Say, might you do me a favor? Oh, how very kind of you. I guess the younger generation isn't so bad after all. Well then, young fella, I don't usually ask for favors, but perhaps just w one little one. Can you borrow the book Koopa Legends from Colorado? I'm certain if you were to ask Colorado's wife, she'd lend it. If it isn't a trouble, please go there as soon as possible. You promise, young fella? I mean, I heard somebody claim that, like, some of the uniformity of modern Mar some Mar modern Mario games is partially because of how it's perceived in Japan, the franchise, like its Mickey Mouse esque reputation. It's also interesting how Mario still has the goofy, legless, dot-eyes design from days gone by, but all the Koopalings just look like 2D art from the SNES era. Oh god, I I'm never gonna be able to unsee that now that you mentioned it. I think my husband went to Dry Dry Desert, but who knows? I wonder what he's doing now. I swear, I sent him letters, but he has he written back even once? Of course not. Oh, do you need something? You're doing an errand for the Elder, are you? Mm, right. Koopa Legends. My, uh, yes, my husband owns that one. Of course you can borrow it. Don't let that old coot work you too hard, okay, Mario? He's known to do that. He's also a bit short-tempered. Well, anyway, wait here for just a moment. I'll go poke around my husband's bookshelf. Found it. You're talking about this book, right? It's all yours. It was behind the bookshelf. It's strange, that book? It has all these pictures of shells and exercises. Firmer shells in 30 days? Hold on just a moment. Yeah, my nose is acting up. Go to town and eat a shoe. Here you go. Great gallop and Goombas! You're a lifesaver, Mario! This is just what I needed! <laughs> to show my gratitude, I'd like to make a gift of this. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. <laughs> oh, what luck! You came at the perfect time, young man. Would you see your way to doing me another favor? Oh, how very kind of you. I guess, the, yeah, yeah. Well then, young fellow, I don't, yeah, 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 yeah. Lately, I've been sleeping poorly. I'd love a sleepy sheep to help me catch a little shut-eye. There should be a shop in Toad Town that sells them. Okay, here you go. My stars, you're a veritable hero, Mario. Finally, some peace and quiet. Sweet dreams, here I come. <laughs> Take this as a small thank you. Did you know there's a playroom in Toad Town? If I remember right, it used to be around the station. It's strictly for members only, so the entrance is well hidden. I bet you could find it, though. This here's a silver credit. It'll let you play once you're inside the playroom. Back in my heyday, I used to go there and make a lot of money, but I got tired of the hoopla. So, the silver credit's yours. I don't know what this voice is more. I don't know what this voice is morphing into. Nice. Find Goopa, Goompa, the grandfather. Okay. The, the, the tape. Try to keep this whole thing under wraps, would you? You promise, young fella? Lonely space vixens. And that's for when you go to bed. 
Uh, see you around, Zero Kirby. Thank you for stopping by. Anyway, here we go. Going back. Going back. Doody doody do. Do 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 do. Eat a shoe. I got this right. Yeah. No, no, you didn't see nothing. Yeah, run into the leaf. Hold it right there, Mario. I've been waiting for you. Oh, God, it's this guy again. I told you I'd be back. Now I get my revenge. Here it comes, baby. Check this out. Mario, I'm talking to you. I promise you, this fight will be much different than before. Who is this crazed guy? What a nut. Shut up. You, Mario. Of course you remember me. No. What? D darn it, you don't remember me? Listen, you, you big lug. My name is Junior Trooper. Remember it and tremble. After this beating, you'll definitely remember. Get ready to hurt, Mario. I'm gonna show you a new skill I just picked up. Oh no, he has become egg. Yeah, check that out. You've never seen anything like it before, have you? Your attacks are useless now. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch Goombario in, I guess. The Mario had such battle skills. Grr, it's not over yet, though. Yeah. Well, he would definitely have a squeakier voice than that. Okay, that I can ar I can arrange for that. Also, hello. What was his name? Junior Troopa? I don't remember exactly. Just joking, kid. He looks adorable hiding in his egg, doesn't he? So cute. It should be a snap to beat him now, I think. Ow. Can I, like... Can I, like, please? There we go. Finally. You know, I thought maybe Cooper would knock him over, but uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. So, you know, a bombette, get out here. I am wasting valuable turns by changing my partner so often, I realize. But at least I got a heal now. Bombs? <laughs> yeah, suck on that. You know what, let's, let's have a good heal. Good old-fashioned heal, like Mom used to make. Yeah, this guy's dead. This man is deceased. Yes! Goodbye. Excellent timing on that. Hey, I mean, I'll take 20 free star points. Okay, now... Oh, oh, he's not gonna talk anymore. 
Oh, he's not- he's not gonna talk anymore, so I can't do the funny bit I was about to do. I guess you'll just have to wait till next time. Mario! Mario, Mario! It's me, Twink! Remem- Remember me? I heard you saved the Honorable Star Spirit who was captured by the Koopa Bros. Bowser and his gang are so angry about it. I knew you could do it, Mario. You're on your way. But enough celebration for now. I come bearing important information for you. It seems that one of the Star Spirits is being held captive somewhere in Dry Dry Desert. Bowser wrote it in his diary, some place called Dry Dry Ruins. The princess braved the dangers of the castle to get you this clue, Mario. If we find out anything else, I'll hurry back to tell you. I have to go back to her highness now. She's so brave. I hope this news helps. Okay, bye-bye. I wondered if Bowser Jr. was somehow based on Junior Troopa. Probably not, knowing how the series tends to go, but... You know, the, the DNA, the seed was planted. Okay, what do, what do we got? We got Cooper letter. From Colorado's wife. Cooper, how are you doing? Your mother dropped by for a visit the other day. We had a really nice talk over some Koopa tea. She did seem a touch disappointed that you were still on the road. I mean, I, he's only been gone like an hour. He said that she's going to cook a delicious dinner when you come back, so you have something to look forward to. Oh yes, if you happen to see my wayward husband, please tell him to come home more often. Take care, Colorado's wife. What's her name? Who knows? Could be anything. But yeah, we we have a lot to check up on back here in Toad Town, so... We'll do that. Mario, more than a match for the Cooper Brothers Fortress. Our hero, Mario, has vanquished the Cooper Brothers, who lived in the Great Fortress to the east. The Cooper Bros' longtime underlings of Bowser had been left to guard one of the kidnapped Star Spirits. The Star Spirit has returned to Star Haven, all thanks to our hero, Huzzahs for Mario. The train parked at the station at the south of town is pretty spiffy, isn't it? It's called K-64. Unfortunately, a huge boulder has fallen on the track and the train can't go anywhere. Talk about a cry in shame. A railroad lover. Oh, oh, path isn't blocked anymore. A wise fighter knows that sometimes the best tactic is to not fight at all. There is no cowardice in choosing to run away from a superior foe. Of course, you will find some enemies that are impossible to escape once in battle. Face them with bravery. I love this dude right here. The, the... <laughs> <laughs> the buzzy beetle with the ponytail. When fighting, you must try many tactics. A good fighter does not use the same simple attack each time. Each enemy has its own character and weak points. Sometimes you use your body, sometimes you use your items. But always, always, you must use your mind. Sometimes you will be surprised by what's effective. Oh, you must be Mario. Welcome to my dojo. I am the master. I am the head of this dojo. <laughs> Please pardon me. My health is rather delicate. Every day we train in this dojo to improve body and mind. If you have the purpose and the desire, you may challenge us. Tell me, what business have you here today? Uh, I'm not gonna do that yet. It, it's probably not wise to do that so early on. Master of the dojo came back from his training. Before he left, he said he wouldn't return until he was incredibly strong. He must be pretty tough by now. Oh? <laughs> you don't have it? The degree, Mario. The degree shows how strong you are. <laughs> I have it. I fought it for the dojo over there and got it from the master. I am one bad toad. Yeah, I ain't buying it. I ain't buying it. Hey, I bet you didn't know that there's another shop here in Toad Town. The merchandise they carry is slightly different. I might want to check it out sometime. Yeah, it's neat to have this, like, you know, central hub area that, like, stuff opens up the further in the game you get. Whatever obstacle comes, our love will see us through. 
The power of my love could blow up any roadblock. Oh, you're so romantic. Our love is explosive. Not as explosive as this. Oh, I'll see you in hell. And, uh, nothing, nothing in there I want to do. Oh, oh, the frames are chugging a little bit. A little bit of frames. Let's see Luigi. Let's see Duichi. 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 Hi, Mario. I figure I'll have an adventure sooner or later, so I'm training. What's that? Dry, dry desert? Oh, sure. There's a train that goes there from Toad Town. Hey, maybe I'll tag along. No? You sure? Just give me a chance. Don't worry, Luigi. I heard from a little dolphin that you'll get your time in the spotlight soon enough. Letters for Mario. Little T. Dear Mario, how do you do? I'm Little T. I'm just a little toad. I live in Toad Town, so I've been training at the dojo so I can save Princess Peach. I'll write to you again later. Bye. I'm a don't know who that is. Vanity. Hello, Mario. I'm Vanity. Chuck Quizmo's lovely assistant. I love these little pictures that come with them. Thanks for participating in our quiz show. Our ratings are through the roof. Are those star pieces helping you? Please keep coming back until you can answer the last question. I'll cheer you on. And then the Koopa Bros. You rat Mario, you dare embarrass us. I'll never forget what you did. Hey, watch your back when you walk at night. I'm gonna make you cry. You better sleep with one eye open, pal. We shall return. And you can get like a, a free heal right here. Oh yeah, how many star pieces do we have right now? We got four. I don't know if that's enough for another badge. But gosh darn it, I am tempted to find out. I heard that the three maid girls of Princess Peach's castle are gonna go on a trip. I guess they don't have work, but really, the princess was kidnapped and times are bad. What on earth are those maids thinking? Yeah, I agree with you. Going on a trip during a situation like this? Have they lost it? Totally, girls. I, Felicity, <laughs> agree. I think that they should think, especially hard about which souvenirs to buy. Okay, so let, let's go back over there, and we'll see if there's anything we can buy. Anything we can trade for. This is as fast as I can go. I'm sorry. Okay. Nope, not enough. Not enough, so I'll be back later. Get you along slightly faster. Oh wait, hang on, is this guy open now? Hey mister! My dad's opened his shop. Don't you want to take a look? It's really cool. The badge shop for badges. Come on, check it out. Uh, I was made in a factory. A bomb factory. They're bombs. 
Disables an enemy's defense power and injures it. Uh, Multi-bounce. Jumps on all enemies in a row if timed right. And then first attack. Oh, these are all pretty good, but I, I think this one sounds the best. <laughs> what are these guys supposed to be, by the way? Like, I think, I think their names are like Ralph and Ruff. So like, dogs, maybe? But yeah, we're gonna need a lot more coins. Well, I'll trade it for that right now. Do that. And you know what, that. That's a good loadout. When I grow up, I'm gonna learn to be a train conductor. Train conductors are so cool. Station stop, all aboard. All right. Doesn't something smell good? Taste Tea lives in this house. She's an incredibly good cook. She just taught me the recipe for delicious fried shroom. You should make it, or you make it with a mushroom. Someday, if I keep practicing, maybe I'll become a master chef. You donkey. What do you mean I can't go back there? That is very clearly a place that I could walk into. Oh my goodness, it's Mario. My name is Tasty. I love to cook. If you bring me ingredients, I'll be happy to fix you one of my energy-given dishes. Yeah, like a like a full freaking crafting system here. I'll whip up something special just for you, honey. It'll be fabulous. Just a moment. Try la la la. -la. So yeah, so now it restores one extra HP and two FP. Oh, the most amazing fresh mushrooms. Mm, gorgeous. So I really see no reason not to do this with the mushrooms, to be honest. I mean, the one downside is you have to touch base back here if you want to get more of them. Toe Town Station is just south of here. The train here is the only way to reach dry, dry desert. You aren't thinking of going to the desert, are you, Mario? Or are you, Mario? Be careful if you do. Dry, dry desert is huge. Wherever you go, all you can see is sand. Many a wanderer has gotten lost, so travelers should use extreme caution. Oh, and you should avoid any whirlwinds, you see. According to my sources, if you get close to a whirlwind, it'll blow you far away. Chances are you'll get lost. Beyond here lies dark and gloomy forever forest. You'll get lost for sure, so I'd advise you not to enter. Okay, I, I will enter when it becomes relevant. And it inevitably will. Won't open. Must be locked. People say that there's a big dangerous creeper creeper living. <laughs> you know, that, that works too. Living deep inside that pipe over there. But when people tell you not to go in it, it kind of makes you want to even more. Of course, you'll be alright if you carry lots of items. Probably. Oh, I'm absolutely going in. You know I am. Oh, it's that guy. Whatever, whatever you are. Yo, little man. Name's Chet Rippo. Pleasure meeting you. Say, man. Don't you want to upgrade your status? Yeah, I know you do. It's usually 390 coins. But for you and only you, I'll do it for just 39 coins. If you give me 39 coins, I'll upgrade your HP, FP, or BP. I'm not lying or cheating you. Come on. You know you want it. Sure. There you go. Good call. Here's your current status. Maximum HP is 15, FP, yeah. We probably need a little bit of HP. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> you wiener. You absolute wiener. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I had a feeling he would do something like that, but I still let it happen. And yep, here's the other shop. Right? So you got more different item. You can get a super shroom. Yeah. Oh, it's the ladies. Hi, I'm new to the neighborhood. I never expected it to be so nice and quiet in the big city. It cost me a small fortune in coins to get this place, but I think it was worth it. It's such a lovely house, isn't it? Sure is. Hey, you're Mario, right? We just moved in. We only just unpacked. It's like a dream come true. A quiet and gorgeous home all to ourselves. Oh, I'm so happy. Of course, happy as I am. I know that these are sad times. I try not to act too jolly when I'm out and about. Yes. Oh wait, is it? Oh no, I thought that was reflective for a second. I was like, wow. I mean, I guess if Mario 64 can do it. I've heard a rumor about this great big hidden ruin somewhere in dry, 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 dry desert, but I don't believe it. Well, I've never seen it. Once I see it with my own eyes, then I'll believe it. Anything back here? Nope. Hey guys, what's up? Let's go. Oh, it's the boys. It's the boys. Here comes Red Ranger T. Pow. Here comes Yellow Ranger T. Boom. Here comes Green Ranger T. Donk. Look, look, Mario. We three are heroes, just like you. You, you did good, kid. You did real good. Do you know Postman Paracary? He delivers letters to many towns in the Mushroom Kingdom. But he's easily distracted, so more often than not, the mail runs a little slow. Aw, oh, what the silly bean. What a very not suspicious house. Tis true. Big fish I be getting winter I fish here. Y'all, I hear caterpillars be making the best bait. Yeah, Fuzz Page, you're my bait. Just cause y'all are fishing, I gotta be bait? Nuh uh. You're a plum fool. I may be a caterpillar, but I still got some rights. Quiz. Quizman. Car Wiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. Wanna try the quiz? Yes, I do. Then let's go to the question. Question. What is the color of the block you can break with the first hammer you got? Yellow. Correct. Congratulations. Okay, cool. It's the club. Yep, we lost a whole mess of glasses around here when the earthquake hit. Been cleaning ever since. Shame. Lots of fond memory in those glasses. Welcome to Club 64. How do you like the club, dude? Pretty posh, right? Yeah, my buddy there and I opened up last year. This club was broken here and there in that earthquake, but no problem. We'll get it all fixed up in no time. I'm Simon. I'm rhyming. To folks who know it, I'm the master poet. Poor pop diva cannot sing, but my lyrics are just the thing. 
My lyrics really rock. Our pop diva will be cured of shock. I'm tragically struck, though, because my last line's a no-show. Later, Pluminator. Hmm, hi, I'm Shen Chanterelle. I'm known around here as the pop diva of Toad Town. Oh, I used to be able to sing any song perfectly, each note a masterpiece. Those times are behind me now, perhaps forever. The sight of Peach's castle flying high into the sky was such a shock. I haven't been able to sing since then. And now, now I'm a pop diva who cannot sing. Cruel irony, isn't it? Hello, Mario. I heard that you went over to Koopa Village recently. A long time ago, I went to Koopa Village, too. I remember it like it was just yesterday. There were all sorts of people, uh, that is, Koopa Troopas, there. W what are you trying to say, mate? What are you saying? One Koopa loved the radio, I recall. It, those four rowdy brothers, that giant can't see. Oh yes, there was also that world-renowned explorer and archaeologist, Colorado. If I recall correctly, his wife was always worrying about him. I suppose she wanted him to stay home a bit more. I often wonder how all those Koopas are holding up. Oh, bountiful, beautiful sea! When I behold the ocean, I feel peace and serenity. When you feel sick in body or in heart, nothing heals you better than the sea. I mean, some people, the ocean makes them more sick. Mmm, kern. Everybody loves the kern. Okay, I'm gonna explore a little bit more of Toad Town. And, I mean... You know, that, that probably will be it. I got, I'm probably not gonna get started on the next chapter yet. Probably gonna save that for next time. But I at least want to go down here. Okay, it is the sewer. Can't go there. Can't go there. But I can go there. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Okay, so t tell me, tell me all about this man. This is a g Gloomba. Gloomba are nasty Goombas that live in the Toad Town tunnels. They're stronger than ordinary Goombas, but you can take them. Oh yeah, they got some big health. <laughs> Bloombas. Stream go down or just me? It is, is it? I mean, it, it seems fine. Yeah, I think it's just him. Yeah, I need to get another level because that man stole. That man stole my stats. How did I allow that to happen?
Oh wait, crap, I need to... I need to change member to someone who can take these guys. I might be in trouble. I might be in trouble. Oh dear, he's not dead yet. He is not dead. Yeah, might need to might need to start using some of these. Oh, I got a refund. I got a refund. Mario got the mail-in rebate. go back and save because oh boy these guys are these guys are strong they are stronger than I anticipated I won't fight the master but I'll do this I didn't mean to didn't mean to open that menu. I meant to open this menu. <laughs> this is a blooper. Bloopers lurk in the dank pools of Toad Town tunnels. Do dry shrooms cook good? I don't think so, but I could be wrong. They seem pretty unremarkable. Although, you have to wonder how they float in the air like that. Well, see, they learned that back on the Famicom. Ow. What do I got here? Lightning that strikes one enemy. Okay, attack power three. Yeah. 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 Crap. Okay, didn't, <laughs> didn't expect that one. What else do I got? 10 FP, 5 FP. Hmm. Oh wait, I noticed Goombario can't use items. That is a Mario exclusive power. I, I hit the A button. You cannot tell me I did not. I might die. I could, it, it's possible that I could die to this man. I'm gonna I'm gonna focus, focus real hard. So it's a good thing I just saved. There we go. I hit me. There we go. That is a timed hit, my friend. Oh, 
God, it's like so tantalizingly close. Hmm. Yeah, I'm- I got problems. I got problems. Oh god, you're gonna tell me this guy's gonna die with like one hit point. Or like, I'm gonna die while this- he has one hit point. Oh! The clutch! The clutch! The clutch! But just barely not leveling up, god dang it. <laughs> yes! A shrink stomp. Hmm, nice. Oh, I thought this would- I thought this would give me access to a thing. But it was not to be. So, I pretty much just need to kill one enemy to get a level up. I love the way Paper Mario goes into pipes. That is quite beauteous. <gasps> what are you? <laughs> well, hello there. My name is Bubbulb. I come from Flower Fields, the wonderful land of flowers. I'd love to spread the wonderful, wondrous flowers of flower fields all over your land. You like flowers, don't you? Of course you do. Who doesn't? For that reason, I'll entrust this to your care. That is a flower seed. It is well if it's well cared for, a beautiful flower will bloom. These flowers are delicate. One, only one with a loving heart can make them bloom in beauty. Please take good care of it, for beauty is fragile. That's not the voice I was expecting you to give him. Honestly, it's not the voice I was expecting to give him, but I don't know what voice I'm gonna give him until I open my mouth. It could be anything. Yeah, so this is the minigame zone. Hello there, Mario. Welcome to the playroom. To play here, you need a member credit. The kind of game you can play depends on the type of member credit you have. Cool, you have a silver credit. In that case, I'll make a pipe appear that will lead you down to the jump attack floor. Which I probably should not play this session. <laughs> maybe, maybe next time. Oh, I love little oinks. Love them, yeah. You want to learn about them? Little oinks are timid and mysterious creatures that hatch from eggs. They spook easily and will run away if you approach them. Observe them from out here. There are many breeds of little oinks. They're very easy to tell apart. White ones, black ones, even gold and silver ones. If you're curious about the breed of a newborn little oink, come over and talk to me. I wish the world were full of little oinks. That would be grand. Grand. You know, let, yeah, let's get one. Deposit the egg. Deposit the flesh egg. And there is a purpose to that. I forget the exact intri intricacies of it, but there is a purpose to doing- to messing with those things. If I recall right, it's like, if you open the door to the cage, they will all run out. But, depending on the type of oink they are, they will leave behind stuff. So it's kind of just like a gotcha pawn thing. What up, Mario? Like slides? The slides on Mount Rugged are the coolest. Yeah, some are kitty size, but they're also huge ones that launch you way out. I want to go there again. And yep, there's a big old rock in the way. Mario, you do keep a good supply of items on hand, don't you? If you get attacked when you have nothing, you'll be in a pretty tight fix, huh? My advice is, whenever you're going on a long journey, you should stop by a shop and load up on supplies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't work because of Peach's castle flew away. Oh well, I guess there's nothing to be done. <laughs> The girls and I always wanted to go on a long trip. How lucky for us. At first I said let's not go because there's so much trouble going on, but... 
Eventually, I came around. We're ready to roll, but now the train can't move. Great. Our first stop is going to be the desert town. I wish we could go right now. Hmm. Little, little sociopathic. Okay, but... Before I stop playing, like I said, there's a few things I want to do. I need to heal. I, I want to get that last star point so I can level up and get my FP back. And I, I would like to restock on items before I stop playing because I, can, I will guarantee you that Dustin from like, you know, next week or whenever I pick this back up will not remember <laughs> to restock on items. I do not trust him. That guy is a flake. There we go. That's all I needed. I'll tell him you said that you, you better not. Yeah, and you know what? Yeah, let's get let's get more FP. Next time I'll probably go for badge again. Okay, scoot scoot over to the item shop. Okay. You can see a little bit of a glitch happen back here, I think. Oh, the kung fu- the kung fu music. I accidentally triggered it. Alright. So, I'm gonna go back. And now that I have five, I'm gonna actually grab one of those badges. Then uh, I'm gonna cook these mushrooms, and then I'll save and quit. Yeah, I'm gonna get the shrooms cooked. I will. Because, like I said, I don't trust myself not to forget next time. So, let's see. What are our options here for five? Pretty lucky. Makes enemies fail to attack Mario. And then, protects Mario from poisoning and dizziness. Oh, that one's pretty good, too. But I'm, I'm gonna get this one. Just, because that, that sounds pretty useful. Just randomly, enemies fail to attack me. He, he couldn't get in the room. <laughs> he didn't know how. He's got, I mean, he's got no arms, so... It's not like he can open the door. Man, what a life a Goomba must lead. The hard knock life for them. It's awfully nice of this old woman to cook things for me for absolutely no monetary compensation whatsoever. But ma'am, just know that you are saving the Mushroom Kingdom. I, I will pay you an exposure. All right, thank you very much. Now, where's the nearest save block? Is it back this way? Whatever, this is the one I'm headed towards. All right, so that was a good, that was a quality, fun type time. 
fun for all. Probably. And thank you for tuning in. As always. And I will see you around. Have a, have a good night. Have a good day. Whatever time it is for you when you're watching this. <laughs>